All right, what's going on, everybody? Mickey MCE here. Um, just discovered a cool new feature, and I was looking for videos on it. I didn't see anything, so I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Um, I had stopped using uh, Voice Mod Pro because I was having a lot of issues um, with it when they updated it, um, not working with my Stream Deck. Um, it worked, and then they pushed an update, and it stopped working. Um, but they've made some really great changes. Uh, with the latest version of OBS, which is version 4.0.297.9798, um, they've now added uh, more actions here. Um, they've released the SDK, so people can make uh, basically make their own uh, tools here. Um, and voice mod is one of those. Um, if you click on the bottom corner here and click on more actions, uh, you get this little window over here. And these are going to be the most popular. These are going to be uh, added features. Um, so we, there's things like CPU. I haven't used any of this other stuff, but the voice mod one was the one I was interested. Um, I clicked install. And what that did was that gave me some actions down here specifically for voice mod. Um, so here we've got select voice, hear my voice, change voice on off, ambient effects on off. We got a mute button and we've got a push to talk voice changer. Uh, so what I did was I went in, I created a folder and uh, I've added these features here. We've got a few voices in here. So I'm going to select deep voice and you see when I select it, it's the one that's uh, highlighted blue. Um, and this button right here is actually a push to talk button or a push to change voice button, which is great. So, um, I can also hear my own voice by turning that on. And if I hold the push to talk button down, you'll notice this on off button will highlight as I push it. So right now I'm using the deep voice. And if I release the push to talk button or the push to change, it's, I call it push to talk, but push to change voice. If I release it, um, the voice also changes back. Um, we'll switch to bullhorn here. But now as I push the talk, it sounds like uh, I'm using a bullhorn to talk. Release it and we're back to normal. Um, really great feature, something that I've been wanting for a long time. If you want to hear your voice, you can, which is great. Because sometimes you're not sure if things are working and that makes it all good. Now we're all familiar with these different um, you know, voices that are built in here. But um, these added features to the Stream Deck make it great. So, I just switched to a couple of voices here. Do the push to talk. Get back to normal. Uh, we've got Zombie one, which is cool. Um, this one's pretty cool. I seem to have lost my Darth Vader, so. This will be a good opportunity to show you how to add one in. It's just like anything else in the Stream Deck, if you're familiar with it at all. I'm gonna go grab Select Voice. I'm going to drop it in here. Um, right now I can select favorites. So I have, um, these are all my favorites within Voice Mod Pro. And I'm just going to go to select a voice from the list. And we're going to go for sword. As you can see, it automatically generates the icon. You can title it if you want to. Um, and then that's basically it. So now I can select that. I am your father, Luke. Now I can do a, my Darth Vader impression. So, anyway, real quick video, just kind of off the cuff, just to show those features off, because I think they're pretty cool. So, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button. Um, I do plan on getting around to uh, making some more YouTube videos. Um, I'm also streaming live on Twitch, at MickeyMCE, so... Thanks for watching. Have a great day.